my December daily friends Ashley Anderson here in this video we're going to create a couple of different tags for my December daily album so this first one is an extra large tag and I'm going to abbreviate the word December on there and that's also going to say 2021 we're going to do some stamping on it so for the stamps I got those from Heidi Swap I will link those down below and then the inks that I'm using I have Distress Oxide and then I also used Allie Edwards ink. I really like her ink. It's really good um, And the ink colors that I chose were black gray and red and then you guys will see we'll add some ribbon to it We'll also add a few other fun embellishments to this tag. I had seen somebody do this I don't remember if it was on Pinterest or Instagram one of the two and I thought this was just a cute fun tag that I could add into my planner if I decide to journal on it, I will do so on the back. But as of right now, it's just, the back has a pattern paper on it. It's just a fun tag that I wanted to create because I thought it was super cute. I really don't have any other plans for it. But stay tuned because once we get through this big tag, I have a trifold, a uh, trifold tag that we're gonna create. And this is where I'll put pictures of me, my husband, and my son on those. So I started off with the red 2021 down in the bottom right corner and I did that because I didn't want any of that hanging off of the tag. You guys will see some of the tag starts with, um, like on the left side it'll start with a D, it'll start with a C, it might start with the E, and then same thing on the right side. So some of those are hanging off which is totally fine, I don't care one bit about that. But I wanted to make sure that the 2021 was fully on the tag. Um, and then I already told you about the colors that I chose was black, gray, and red. And I thought that the red down at the bottom was just a pop, just like a really cute pop of color. Now when I did the stamping, none of this is perfect. Um, it might even be hard to differentiate between the gray and the black on the video. I did one, two, three, four, like five grays, and then the rest was black, and then the 2021 is in red. But it's not perfect. Some of it overlaps, some of it's crooked. And you know what, that's totally okay. Either way, I think it still turned out super, super cute. And feel free to use this same idea or to use this as an inspiration for a tag inside of your December Daily album. So at the top, as you can see, I just run some red ribbon through it and then I'm going to staple that together. I love stapling ribbon to tags. I think it's really, really cute. The staples that I'm using are black too, which is like just a little different than your average, than your average staple, right? And then I created the cute little V at the top of the tag. I might end up cutting them a little bit shorter because, I mean, they stick out of my album, which is totally fine. I like whenever things stick out of there, but I may, um, cut them at just a little bit shorter. But here we're just gonna create a fun little embellishment to go on the tag. So the green circle that I have, it is clear, it's plastic. It says the magic of the holidays. And then I ended up, I was trying to make something to go in the center of it so I could do some stamping. And I have a paint, uh, a container with some paint in it that was actually like the perfect size for the center of that circle. You guys will see it here in just a second. So I ended up tracing it cut the circle out and I have some stamps from Heidi Swap and the stamp that I used was Mary and it's the definition of Mary and then I put some um, I think I used the top of a Christmas tree stamp actually around it so you guys will see that part and then the red 
Christmas, the puffy sticker. I, I wasn't for sure if I liked it on there or not after I did the stamping. Actually, I think I ended up sticking it on there to cover up something that I had stamped on it, but I don't remember. So let's watch together and then we'll see what happens. But here's where I'm cutting out the circle that I traced from that um, container of paint that I had. So now I can see it. I did initially stamp Mary and Bright and Red on there. It didn't look super bad, but I ended up covering it up. I just didn't like the way that it looked. I think it turned out better anyways with the Christmas heart puffy sticker um, over top of that. So that's what I ended up doing. All right, on to this fun little tri-fold tag that I created. I love this tag, I love the way it turned out. The only thing I would change is I would actually make it a little bit bigger, which I may end up doing. 
But what I did is I purchased a digital tag from Heidi Swap. I stuck that tag in my Cricut. I did it three times and then I attached all three of those tags together. So when the Cricut cut it out, it cut it out as one tag, right? And then here I have my bone folder and I'm scoring the tag twice so the, the tag will fold over um, to make like a little fold out tag, right? I thought it was super, super cute. And you guys might hear my puppy in the background. He has a little burst of energy and he's in there playing with his toys. <laughs> but um, like I said, I would make this tag a little bit bigger, but I do like the way it turned out. And I just took some green ribbon and I stapled it to the first tag. I don't run it through all three tags because then your tag's not going to open, but I just tape, uh, stapled it to the first tag. And then from there, you guys will see it here in just a minute. I took a piece of scrap vellum and I cut a circle out. Actually, I think I used a punch for it, but I punched a circle out of it. And then the same Christmas tree pattern paper that I have, I cut out two of the Christmas trees and I glued them to that little vellum circle that I stick out of the side of the tag. And I did that so it's like a, like a little reminder of like, hey, open me up because I open. You know what I mean? You guys will see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So here's the scrap vellum and the punch that I used. This is just a, um, let me look here and I'll tell you what size punch that was. Does it tell me on the punch? It's a 1.5 inch punch. So one and a half inch punch is what I used to punch out a side of that and then I ended up sticking it on the tag. But I, like I said, I cut out two of these little Christmas trees and I glued them to that vellum and then adhered it to the tag. All right, my friends, that is a couple of the tags that I've created for my album. Um, like I said, the only thing that I would change is making the smaller trifold tag larger, making it a little bit bigger. 
Um, I wouldn't go huge with it or anything, but definitely would make it a little bit bigger. But I think having some pictures of me, my husband, and my kid on here is going to work out great. So I thought it was a really cute tag. I love the December tag, that like extra large one. I think it's really, really cute. Um, make sure you guys stay tuned because I... I'm excited. I'm excited to share this December daily journey with you guys. And I can't wait till December's here and we get to start uh, documenting our memories together. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so we can go on this journey together. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.